So it's our pleasure to have Sheikh Ala al Sayyid uh, join us in this evening. Sheikh Ala al Sayyid was born in Cairo and lived in Egypt until he was 15 years old. During his youth, he spent his time as a goalie for the junior national team and moved to Toronto, Canada in the late 1970s. Sheikh Ala worked as the vice president of business development for an international company. And during this time, he competed and placed first in the 1992 Bermuda's Triathlon. Sheikh Ala has studied for his bachelor's in Sharia from the American International University and has earned a scholarship and, uh, from the Sharia Academy in Egypt slash Florida. Sheikh Ala has also received his ijazah of Quran recitation for Hafs al Aslim, studied comparative religion for five years through the IPCI in South Africa, and was on the board of directors of the World Assembly of Muslim Youth. Sheikh Ala currently lives in the greater Toronto area with, with his wife and three children. He is a member of the Canadian Council of Imams as well as a member of Horizon Interfaith Communication Media Council. Prior to this, he was an Imam for the Muslim Council of Calgary and acted as its media spokesperson. He has hosted the Vision of Islam, a weekly television show which runs throughout Alberta, Canada. He also appeared as a speaker on Islam on various television channels. Sheikh Ala was a member of the Calgary Multi-Faith Committee, committee and, and a member of the Muslim Christian Dialogue Committee. Sheikh Ala received, received the Alberta Centennial Award by the Alberta government in, 20, in 2005, granted to him for his out, outstanding service to the Alberta community. Currently, Sheikh Ala is the Director of Religious Affairs for the Islamic Center of Canada. It's not fair to for that. <laughs> Without further ado, please join me in welcoming our Sheikh Tali fundraising part of our program for today. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu salam ala salam ba'd. Jazakum Allah khayyib, may Allah bless you, Allah, inshaAllah, and reward you abundantly. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He gathers here today to gather us with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after a long, healthy, righteous life to be able to see the magnificent face of Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi'ala in the way befitting His Majesty. Uh, my teacher is here, Dr. Rida Badair, and may Allah bless him. I've always uh, mentioned that I have learned a lot from him and he, uh, I owe him a lot. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him for being here and everybody for being here for a noble cause. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasul amma ba'd. I know we're here for a reason. It is the intention, inshallah, that will get us there. But we had, wa quli amalu. Ask, do something. Everything is mentioned in the Quran, even though Maryam السلام, she had to push that palm tree. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have simply fed her. But we're still asked to work to the last day of our lives. As a matter of fact, you will see the fasila, you will see the shrub. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says, if you know for sure that tomorrow is judgment day, and if you have in your hand a shrub, plant it. Even though you may not see the fruit yourself. And even though it may be a palm tree that it takes a long time to fruit. So we're not necessarily looking for something that we see immediately. Not for ourselves. Maybe not for even our own children, but maybe for our own grandchildren or great-grandchildren. Allah subhanahu wa jalla wa asked Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for one thing that he asks more of. I do have candy actually, Air Canada, who were very nice with their mints. If you tell me what it is, what did Allah subhanahu wa jalla wa ask Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam to ask more of? No, no, the doc knows that. He taught me that. Trick. Was it money? Was it health? Wealth? Status? Disposition? Honor? And sound line? What was it? وَقُلْ رَبِّ زِدْنِي so I get to keep this one. Thank you so much. I appreciate your participation. وَقُلْ رَبِّ زِدْنِي عِلْمًا Allah subhanahu wa jalla wa asked Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to ask to increase his knowledge. Nitaymiya rahmatullahi alayhi he used to say يَا مُفَهِّمْ سُلَيْمَانْ فَهِمْنِي يَا مُعَلِّمْ دَاوُودْ عَلِّمْنِي 
Oh, the one that gave the ponder and reflection and deep thought upon issues and affairs of Sulaiman salam, grant me that. Oh, the one that taught Dawood salam, teach me. So I'm going to talk about the planting of a seed and different types of trees. In the Quran and Sunnah, there are different types of trees. It's just to give you an idea of what it is that you're dealing with. There is a tree that is planted for you and waiting for you. I'll finish with, inshallah. There are also a planting of a tree in this life. As a matter of fact, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu mentioned that it's the strongest oath you will ever take in your life. Anybody knows what it is? It's a very beautiful tree and it may be sitting right next to you. Anybody knows? I'm just building a segue to where we are today, but you have to have a foundation and a root in order for you to be able to get the fruit. So let's work on planting that first seed and the first tree to get to the last tree. Allah subhanahu wa jalla bi ula says, Nisa'akum harthul lakum. Your wife is a beautiful tail. So if your wife is next to you, every time you see your wife from now on, I want you to look at a beautiful tree. And you become the gardener. A smart intellectual gardener plants a seed anywhere. Do you actually take the seed and throw it and say, Bismillah, whatever it may land? No, you choose wisely where you plant that seed. You make sure you cultivate and prepare the ground before you plant it. And when you plant it, you say, Bismillah. And you also have to have patience because you know for sure you will not see the fruit right away. And you also have to take the weeds away from that tree. Otherwise, the root will rot. And you make sure you quench the thirst of that seed with lawful source of income. That's your water. And as the tree grows, you have to have two sticks. Otherwise, the tree will lean. لا محالة, no way out. Or will be uprooted from the first wind that comes in, meaning fitan, tests and the trials in this life. You know what the two sticks are? They're actually Quran and Sunnah. As the tree grows some more, you have to trim the branches. It's called tahdib in Arabic, which means it's your actually demeanor, your character, your moral conduct. That means you have to be a good role model for your wife first and your children after. After all of that, you get the fruit because you earned it. So what is it then? It's actually an investment. It's not an expense. Why? Because Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, the best money you spend is the money you spend for your family. Now, there is another tree. There is a tree, wal-i'adu billah is in the hellfire. To get that understanding, there is another tree that Prophet Adam السلام, was sitting under as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the ascension, Isra wal Mi'raj, the night journey in the ascension. He was looking at his right side and he would smile. And he would look to his left side and cry. Anybody knows why? What was he looking at his right? And what was he looking at his left? When he looked at his right hand side, he saw the righteous people, may Allah make us among them. From his lineage and progeny, the offsprings till judgment day. And he would be so happy at the apple of the eye and he would smile to that beautiful lineage. But when he looked to his left, unfortunately he saw the other way around. The lineage that will be doomed, unfortunately, taking the wrong heading 
and put in the wrong GPS address. And he would cry. That example gives you a choice. Life is full of choices. From the time you wake up in the morning till the time you go back to sleep. Choices you have to make. Decisions you have to make. Sacrifices or investment, no matter how you look at it. On the positive or the negative. But you still have to ask yourself, what choice do I have? Or do I even have a choice? In this case, indeed you do. Where do you want your children to end up? On the right hand side or the left hand side? Are you willing to roll your sleeves up for Jannah? Because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said the same. أَلَا مِنْ مُشَمِّرٍ لِلْجَنَّةِ أَلَا إِنَّ سِلْعَةَ اللَّهِ غَالِيَةً أَلَا إِنَّ سِلْعَةَ اللَّهِ الْجَنَّةِ Where are those who are going to roll the sleeves up for Jannah? Indeed the merchandise, the commodity that belongs to Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula, indeed is extremely expensive. But it's only Jannah. The ultimate triumph. So we want to be among the winners, not the losers. So what is the definition of a winner? There are three types of winners in the Quran. One of them, فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةِ فَقَدْ فَازِ Those who were distant or protected away from the hellfire and granted permission to be dwellers and enter the Jannah, indeed that is a winner. You still have to make a decision. Do I want to be a winner or a loser? And there is another, a beautiful tree. It's actually called Tuba in one of the narrations. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Tuba lil ghuraba. One explanation, Tuba is a wadi fil jannah, a valley in, the, in, in heaven, in paradise. The other one in the hadith that is authenticated, it's actually a tree, a beautiful tree that has a shade that you cannot surpass. Even if you're on a racehorse for a hundred years, the beautiful trunk of that tree is made of gold. Now the sisters are listening. Gold. ka -ching. Did you say something? Yeah, I, in the, before you said this thing, I saw your mouth moving and some noises is coming out. That's all I heard. Blah, 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 blah. As soon as I said gold, what? Bling, bling. I got your attention now. Yes, my dear sister, there is actually a tree. In Jannah, the trunk is made of gold. Allahu Akbar. Now we're talking. From that, because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was asked, are we going to tailor our clothes? Are we going to be stitching, sewing something? He says, no, it will be among the fruit of the tree. That you'll be dressed from the fruit of the tree. Could you imagine, my dear sisters, a tree in Jannah, that will give you clothes, according to some of the explanations of the time Ibn al-Qayyim, I can't recall. He says that you will wear a dress. You don't have to do any work. And you don't have to take it off again. Because it will change colors while you're wearing it. And it will change colors on the hour. Every hour will be a different color. And the color that you will see, you will never see again. How much would you pay for that dress? Allahu Akbar. Since we're speaking in this topic, shopping. Who wants to go shopping? Not right now, just hold on. Just after we can do this. Did you know there is a shopping market every Friday? Allahu Akbar. Now we're talking. Now do you have to take your American Express and Visa and all of that stuff with you? No, you don't. Yes, it's actually for those who plant the seed here to be able to get the fruit there. And every time you go on Friday, it will be more beautiful. Let me tell you a secret, sisters, just in case you're wondering. You know, brothers don't like shopping very much. But we do it just because we... Okay, we'll just, we don't do politics here. We'll just move on. You will notice that your husband holds your hand while you're shopping. You probably think because he's so romantic. Oh. Brother, should I tell him? Or should I? Should I tell you or what? Okay, Sheikh, what are you doing? Man, you're selling us out, man. I'll tell you why your husband is actually holding your hand in the shopping mall. 
He's holding you back. <laughs> He's saying, please don't shout too much. I'm right here for you. <laughs> Just don't go to every store. But on Judgment Day, you don't have to do that. Enjoy yourself. Allahu Akbar. Now I'm going to take you to the first street to be able to get to the last street. You see, do you remember the day that you saw your dream girl? What happened to you? Brothers, didn't your heart go like this? My heart is aching. My knees are shaking. It's true, I am faking. She doesn't eat bacon. Huh? Yes, that's it. I found the girl. That's it. I'm down. I'm in love. I can't do a thing. That's it. This is my girl. And you went to ask for a hand in marriage. And you were even surprised she agreed. She accepted. And that beautiful girl came to you one day and says, Honey, I have some good news. The doctor told me I'm pregnant. Then you prostrate to Allah to thank Him for the gift He's given you because it is a gift. Allah says, It is a gift. Then you put your hand on her tummy and you feel a kick. You get excited, you put your ear down and you listen. You start talking, you start picking names, pick colors, paint walls, furniture, clothing. You can't hardly wait for that day to come because that day you'll be called Abba or Father or Baba or whatever you want. And you'll never forget that day when that beautiful child of yours came to this life. And you never forget the day she actually called you or he called you Abba or Father or Dad or Baba for the first time. You'll never forget the day when a child smiled in your face made you forget the misery of the world. Or even raised their hand to be carried by you when you carry them as if you carried the whole world in your hand and they will own your heart right there and then and you'll know it too. And you won't forget the day she ate solid food for the first time or walked on her own feet for the first time. And then you start making dreams, fantasizing. So I want to be there for her when she graduates. I want to be there for her to walk down the aisle. I want to make sure I protect her when she goes to high school. You mess with her, you mess with my whole family. I want to be there when she also gets her first PhD. I want to be there when she has her own children because I'm looking forward to be a grandfather myself or a grandmother. And all of a sudden, your dream is shattered. You lost that beautiful girl of yours. She used to wear hijab, no longer there. Your son used to be an imam and memorize the Quran, lost it. He's left the deen. I'm sorry, this was just a reality check because you're still here. I'm just giving you a little bit of taste if you are not here. A choice you make. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Kafa bil mar'ith man yudayya man yaqut wa fi riwaya man ya'ul. It is sufficient of a sin that you lose those who you actually shepherd or you're responsible for, meaning your children. That's it. He says, on judgment day, that is sufficient of a sin. Let me help you out with one hadith of Sahih Bukhari to set the stage and we'll move on inshallah. Just in case you're wondering, how do I lose my children? Well, there's a statistics done for over 80 years. 80 years they've been doing this research. They asked the teenagers, the children, they asked them, the young men and women in our ummah and others, says what influences your decision making process? They said family, church, meaning religion, and TV. 20 years after that, family was gone. <laughs> it was TV and church, friends. 20 years, church was gone. So family is not important. Religion is not important. It was social media and friends, believe it or not, they're tied. Right now, they will tell you number one reason they make a decision is because of their friends. They want to impress them so much. The peer pressure is so high. The identity crisis, I want to fit in. I wa you know when you tell somebody I like you, that means I'm like you. 
And I hear these stories all the time. I'm sure the Mashaykh know what I'm talking about. So how is it then that you protect your children? Well, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu told you about that in a story that does not make sense to you right now, but it will after I finish, inshallah. It's about a man that killed 99 lives. Why am I telling you this? Are we talking about repentance or mercy? No. I'm just telling you about that. Two main components of why we're here. You see, when that man killed the hundred, I'm sure most of us know the story. I'm not going to bore you. When he asked for a scholar, I still want to repent. What do I do? I killed 100. He's, ma yahulu baynaka wa tawbah. What's holding you back? And that's exactly the same question. What's holding you back? And then he says three things. Intaliq. He didn't say idhab. He didn't say go. He says haste, rush. And then, number two, no procrastination. He says, ila al qariya, go to the village, which means the environment. As salih wa ahluha, the company, the righteous within. That's it. These are your three. So if you really want to save your children, you have to have them with the righteous company and the righteous environment. Simple. And you heard the young man, المرء على دين خليله فلينظر أحدكم يخالل. الصاحب ساحب. Your company will pull you. الصديق قبل الطريق. Your companion before the path and so on and so on. So in order for me to make sure that I've given my child a a fair chance and the ammunition in order for them to be able to fight the biggest two according to al qayyim two fitness is a shahwat wa shubuhat shahwat means whims and desires shubuhat is ambiguity about the deen i don't know I, my name is mo man my wing is queen latifa or sister dalia like the doctor brother bidir habidullah says yes or delicious sorry he calls him yes that's all I know about the deen, man. You listen, I'm in the Islamic school because my father told me you have to be here. Otherwise, mahroom min miraf. That's it, you're off the inheritance list, dude. No soup for you. You're going to eat crackers and cheese breakfast, lunch and dinner. You're going to be sleeping on the couch. And some of us fall under two categories. You know what they are? Taliban. But before you freak out, linguistically, Taliban means in dual tense, two students. <laughs> So, your children are one of, two, one of two. A student who happened to be a Muslim, or a Muslim that just happened to be a student. You will know who they are. Whether they feel like they're a fish in the water or a bird in a cage. You will know. So let us start, because my time is up on the talking. No more talking. Let's do me no likey taki. Me like you do it. So let's do it. Okay. So remember the shopping? I'll take you there. If I were to tell you right now, Best Buy has a deal on iPhones or Samsung. You know the $700 phone? Or the laptop you wanted for 700 bucks? Tonight only, they're selling it for $1. If this was true, if this were, if it were true, I would be talking to myself right now. Everybody going, <laughs> what? 700 bucks for one dollar? I'm down. Guess what? Allah is giving you the same deal. For every dollar you spend, it's 700 or multiples of 700. Where's the proof? مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ أَمْوَالَهُمْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ كَمَثَلِ حَبَّةٍ the, the parable, those that plant a seed, as if they planted a seed for how many? You'll get seven ears. For every ear, there's 100 seed. Do the math. That means for one seed, you will get 700 seed. And multiplies it for you. Just in case if you're in business, you will know it's something called the gimroy, the gross margin return of investment. Usually, if you're in business, if you make 30% on your gross, your net profit, your margin, and you're doing really good. After all the expenses, your P&L, your profit and loss. 
You're doing really good. But 700%, Allahu Akbar. It can only be given by Allah subhanahu wa jalla biwala. And there's more good news. Those who start, those who start, get the reward for everyone else that will follow them till judgment day. And the hadith is in Sahih Muslim. Bin many mudar, a tribe called mudar. Long story short, when they start giving them to help them, he says, "Man sanna sunnatan hasana fi Islam, falahu ajraha wa ajra man amala biha la yinqus mujurim shayya." Those who start a good deed in Islam, they will get the reward for everyone else that will follow them till judgment day. It will not decrease of their any. And the scholars will tell you this hadith was in sadaqah. This prophetic tradition was actually in charity. So are you ready to make a deal with Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula? Of course we are. I know you're not here for the food. It's also good. But the problem is I stand before... <laughs> between you and the food. And that's the dilemma I have because everybody will start looking to see me like a hot dog. Yeah, I know. You got it. So let's get there. If you want to eat, let's do this, baby. Here we go. Bismillah. So we say Bismillah to break the back of shaitan. So who can tell me how many shaitans do we have to fight in order for you to start giving the money for the sake of Allah? Anybody knows the hadith? How many shaitans do you actually have to fight in order for you to be able to give the money away? The hadith says 70, 7, 0. 70, that means an abundance in that thing. So I have some good news and bad news. You want to know the good news first or the bad news first? Okay. The good news is we have the money. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You want to hear the bad news? <laughs> it's still in your pocket. Uh, now, a struggle. How to detach this thingy, and that's the toughest part. I can tell you that. The toughest part is actually letting go of something you love. Who said that? I didn't say that. Allah told you that. To hubbun al mala hubban jamma. Allah has already told you, listen, I created you, and I'm telling you that you love money too much. It's in the Quran. Hibbun al mala hubban jamma. You love money too much, but He gave you a mission stick. He says, Lan tanalu birra hatta tunfiqu mimma. You will not reach this high benevolence, this level of excellence, unless and until you give from what you love, and what you love is money. So why would you give your hard-earned money? You worked for it. I had to slave over this. You know how difficult for me to get this job? I work part-time, full-time, double-time, night-time, all the time to be able to do this. Why would you give it to me? Because you love Allah more than yourself. That's basically what the scholars will tell you. You will know yourself right now, whether you like the dunya more or the hereafter more. How come? You see, if you hold back, you like the dunya more because I'm going to spend it here. But if you give it, that means you love the hereafter more because you're going to get it there. What are you doing? You're transferring. You're doing interact. That's all you're doing. You're transferring the money from this bank of the dunya to the eternal bank of Allah. Because Prophet Muhammad وسلم, says, which money you love more? Your money or your inheritor's money? He says, we love our money more. He said, okay, if you spend it here, it's your money. But if you don't, it's your inheritor's money. And that's why Aisha radiallahu anha, when she kept the shoulder for Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he asked her, what's left or Aisha from the lamb? She said, the shoulder. He says, no Aisha, everything is left Except the shoulder, because your money are three types. Three types of wealth you have. What you eat will be gone. What you wear will perish. What you spend will stay. Decisions you have to make. That's all. Remember that. So let us see. We're looking for a hero. Four to be exact. Let's work on the first hundred thousand, inshallah. Now, in the back of your mind, you're going to hear whispers right now. I'm just giving you a heads up. Dude, don't raise that hand. Your wife is watching because she just asked you for gold earrings. And he says, honey, I got nothing. Look at that. I got nothing. No, dude, I'm out. I am skating. I'm just عايشين على الكفاف. البؤساء. That's it, man. If you raise your hand now, she'll know that you had money. <laughs> Ah, struggle. 
But I'll take you to Abad Dahdah, Umud Dahdah. Remember this? He gave a whole garden away, almost six to seven hundred different narrations of palm trees for the sake of Allah. For one tree. But his wife from afar hears, Ya Umad Dahdah, this garden is for the sake of Allah. She was feeding her child. Kikh, kikh. Take it out, take it out. It's for the sake of Allah. What did you say? Ya msibtak, ya khibtak. Hanakul munin. Yeah? No, she didn't do that. She says, what are you doing to us, man? How are we going to eat from? She says, Rabahat al-bay'a ya abad dahdah. You did a great deal. Good deal, abad dahdah. And that's the type of sisters that are here tonight. So brothers, don't be afraid. Sisters actually usually give more than the brothers. So I'm going to have a competition. Are you ready, sisters? Let the games begin. Bismillah. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's find out who's going to raise their hand first. Now let's work on the first 100,000. Say Bismillah. And na'udhu billahi min shaitan rajeem so you can break his back inshallah. We're looking for four brothers and sisters, even families or tables. For $25,000 each. I'm going to give you three options. First option is if, me Allah, if Allah blessed you with money, somehow, you can raise your hand and give it one shot. The second option is, you know, Habibi, what are you doing, man? What do you think, Yanni? Yani, tree? You know, when we came, when I, I've been here for about 40 years, and we thought we'd come into Canada, you know what? Just get money off the trees. It's really that simple, yeah? We thought everything is that easy. The option two is if I don't have it one shot, I will work on monthly installments. Alhamdulillah. The third option, Shaykh, I don't have the money. I can't even afford the monthly installments. Well, I'll give you a third option. Your third option is to sponsor it. You can do a bakeathon, whackathon, whatever it is. You can go on GoFundMe. You can use your social media. You can knock on your family and friends. Help me. I need to get this money by the end of the year. So you have three options. I'm going to repeat them. One shot, Alhamdulillah. And Allah grant you much more. Number two is installments. Number three, I'm simply going to sponsor it or use my social media or ask my family and friends to help. So we're looking for the first 100,000, four brothers and sisters, inshallah. Do I have the first hand that is raised with yaqeen that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His promise will be fulfilled and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, His oath will also be honored. What is that oath? And what is that promise? Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَنْ ذَا الَّذِي يُقْرِضُ اللَّهَ قَرْضًا حَسَنًا فَيُضَعِفُ لَهُ أَضْعَافًا كَثِيرًا You know what that means? It's actually Allah to ask him for what? Ask him for a grant? No. He says, give me a loan. Give me a loan. And what does the loan mean? The loan is coming back. If you get a grant, a grant is given and it's not taken back. But if you ask for a loan, it's, it's coming back. So Allah says, give me a loan. A goodly loan. Do you need the second guarantor next to Allah or is he good enough for you? Okay. And then Prophet Muhammad said, Three things I will take an oath upon. He says, Ma mal min sadaqa. Your wealth will never decrease from sadaqa. Could you imagine the queen is asking you for help? Our queen. Can you imagine? Well, the queen is rich. And she's asking you for money. Hello. <laughs> Can you lend me some money? <laughs> Pinky, I'll posh posh. Some strawberry with cream. Eh? No. Listen, we go to the UK a lot. My wife thought I had a second wife there. Allah. It's a true story. It's a long story. I won't, I'll share it with you some other time. So can you imagine the queen is right here, standing in front of you, says, can you please give me a loan? Will you give her a loan? Of course, she's a queen. But فَمَا بَالُكَ بِمَلِكِ muluk. So what do you think about the king of kings? He's asking you to give me a loan. Could you imagine? And he's reminding you where this money is coming from, by the way. He says, وَأَنْفِقُوا مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاكُمْ Give from what I've given you. He's actually telling you this money that you're going to give, I've given it to you. Could you imagine me telling you, listen, here's $100,000. Listen, can I, I just gave you 100,000. Can, can I borrow that 100,000 I just given you? And if you give it to me, I will give it back to you 700 times many folds. Who can turn this down? That's what Allah SWT tells you that. Isn't that amazing? مِن قَبْلِ أَن يَأْتِيَ أَحَدَكُمُ الْمَوْتِ Before death comes upon thee, everybody knows that we'll die. 
فيقول what will you say ربي my lord I see the light I believe I'm healed I repent لا ربي لولا أخرتني إلى أجل قريب give me one more chance so what will you do if I give you a chance فأصدق it's called فائد تعقيب that means if you were ever given a chance to come back to life the first thing you will do is صدقة according to this ayah why? Because it shades you on judgment day, protects you in the grave. The truth is about 14 things about it. So I'm looking now for a first hand among the four for $25,000. Who do we have amongst us as a hero that will raise that hand? Says, Ha anada, here I am. I believe you, Allah. I believe Rasulullah sallallahu And I love Allah more than myself. And I want to invest that money. And apparently we have a winner. Allahu Akbar. Wallahi, I get goosebumps when I get this. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. No name. SubhanAllah. First, $25,000. Allahu Akbar. Say Allahu Akbar, brothers and sisters. Yes, you can give a man. That's fine. It's halal, yani. it's not in the salah. It's okay. It's right, Sheikh? I have my teachers here. Just in case the fiqhi issues, I got my... You can clap in the, in the, in the thingy, in, in the prayer of tea. But outside is the school, inshallah. I, I, don't, I don't dare to give fatwas when I'm in the front of the shaykh and a different city. But I had the green light. He taught me that. So we have the first one. It actually says anonymous. Alhamdulillah. Look, the ummah is in good shape. Wallahi, it doesn't matter where you go. Lillahi rijal, mafatih lil khayr, magaliq lil sharr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had people work on his behalf. To do what? To open the gates of goodness and close the gates of evil. So why am I telling you this? Because there are three things that will continue after you long gone. Help me out. What? Three things that you will never die after you die. After a long, healthy, righteous life. What are they, brothers and sisters? Give me, help me out. Sadaqatun jariya. Good, ukhti. Number two. Ilmun yintafa'u bihi. Number three, I heard it. Waladun sari hadu ulaw. Ahsanti, ukhta. Listen carefully. The, the thing that will not die when you die is the three that we're here for. Sadaqatun jariya, ongoing charity. That means what? Everyone that will learn in that school, you will get it. Everyone that says Bismillah rahman rahim You know how many ayat that is? Alif, Lam, Mim. 30 hasanat. Everyone will learn the shahada. Everyone that will learn the prayer. Everyone that will pray. Everything that khutbah. Anything that is learned right here, you will get that. Sadaqatun jariya, akhi. The scholar said the best ilm is ilm al-deen al is a shari'i, faraid, Quran and sunnah. And also what you need in this dunya, it's been taught. And waladun salih. The scholars will tell you if your child doesn't make dua for you, he's not salih. Mafhum al-mukhalafa. Which means the knowledge of the opposite. The, the hadith says waladun salih yad'u lahu. If your child doesn't make a dua for you, that means you fail to, be, to raise him righteously. But where will they learn this hadith? In Abrar school. That means again, the three things that will never cut off is right here you will find it in the Abrar school. Can you imagine? Yes. All right, we have one. Three to go. Who could be the second hand? Who's got the zealous? I am hungry for good deeds. Ya Allah, I want to be raised in the honor of that first as sabiqoon as sabiqoon Those who compete, wa fi dhalika fal yatanafis al mutanafisun. In such an act, you should be competing. And he also says, wa in tu budu sadaqat. Fani immahi. If you declare it, good it is. But wa in tuhfuha, wa in yatuha al fakara. It's between you and the fakir. That's fine. But in these places, it is good to encourage one another. So brothers and sisters, if you have it, don't hold back. Amongst you, here you are being asked to spend for the sake of Allah. We are poor, Allah. He says, if you're holding back, you're holding back from yourself. Allah is self-sufficient, doesn't he? That's, we need him. So, second call. Who could be the second hand? That will give 25,000 for the sake of Allah and it's assured coming back to you. And if you want to do it on your behalf of your parents, Allahu Akbar. Because the scholars will tell you that your parents need you more than ever now. Because after they die, you are it. They're cut off. So, anta min amali salih. You are among the righteous children, inshaAllah. So, you can do it on behalf of your father. You can do it on behalf of your mother. You can do it with the intention, oh Allah, protect my children. 
So let me first make a dua for the first one that was anonymous. I don't know who they are, but I'm gonna make a dua for them. In the end, inshallah, you say Ameen. Ya Rabbana lakal hamdika wa mbaraja lali wajib adhimi sultanika. Allahumma salli ala sallam Muhammad fil awalina wal akhirin wal a'adin. Oh Allah, I ask for a magnificent name for that brother or the sister. For them, for their family and lineage till judgment day. Oh Allah, protect them from the hellfire. Please say Ameen. For that brother or the sister, whoever gave the 25,000, for them, for the family and lineage till judgment day, oh Allah, grant him the highest level of Firdaus al A'la with no accountability. So please say Ameen. Oh Allah, protect him, protect your children and lineage all the way from the fit in this life and near after. And make him leaders for the muttaqeen. Please say Ameen. Oh Allah, grant him much more than he's given, multiples. Ameen. Why? Because the angels. Say every day, Allahumma a'ti kulla munfikin khalafa wa kulla mumsikin talafa. Oh Allah, replenish the wealth of those who have given for you and spoil the worth of those hoarding back. They have it, but they don't want to go. Wa man yuqa shuha nafsi. If you protect yourself and you give from why your own misery, this is a great ultimate success. Brothers, sisters, let's get over our own shaitan. Don't listen to him. Why? Because Allah is telling you it's shaitan that's holding you back. Where's the proof? As shaitan yaidukum al faqr. You're right. Shaitan is the one that's promising you poverty. What? You don't know. You need a car, man. You need a new house. Your children need some tuition fees. You need, you need, you need, right? And sisters, you know what? I will not be caught dead wearing the same fuchsia dress in the next wedding. No, I need a new blah, 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 blah. Right? And that's shaitan talking. Not Ar Rahman. Ar Rahman says, give. So who can be number two? We need the second hand to keep it going, inshallah. Don't be afraid, brothers and sisters. Wallahi, it's that, like Sheikh Shihab said, it's the eye, the hand wrestling with shaitan. Allahu Akbar, we have the second one. Wallahi, I'm still getting goosebumps, Sheikh. Anonymous too. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Subhanallah. Allahi barik lahum, ya Rabbi. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we have the second one, so let's make dua for that, inshallah. Oh Allah, I ask my magnificent name for the two brothers or the sisters of the family that given the 25,000 each. Oh Allah, after a long, healthy, righteous life for them, for their family and lineage, let their last words to be La ilaha illallah. Please say Ameen. The best of actions and deeds to be their last of actions and deeds. Please say Ameen. And the best days in their lives, the day that they see a magnificent face in Jannah with no accountability in the way befitting your majesty, say, please say Ameen. Allahu Akbar. So two down, two up, two to go. Who can help us out? Who could be number three? Who feels that I don't want to be left out? I want to be on the first plateau. I have it, but I'm afraid. Do I have a, I have a sister. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Well, you know, you can say Allahu Akbar. Yeah, you can it. <laughs> the sister, what's your name, my dear sister? No, no problems. Very good. So we have the third. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So let's make dua for the sister. Remember, you have three options. One shot, installments, or simply sponsor it. You do your best, brother and sister. That's it. You know what? Wallahi, I was talking to the IR CEO, Islamic Relief. They said the most amount of fun they get is online. Don't be afraid. If it's for a good cause, you can do it. But all you have to do is what? Raise your hand. Sheikh Shihab said this to your arm wrestling. Your arm wrestling with shaitan. You want to raise your hand? Shaitan says, no. You want to raise it? Shaitan says, so it's an arm wrestling with you and shaitan. Who's going to win? So the sister is the winner. May Allah bless you, Ukhti. Let's make dua for the sister and the two previous, inshallah. Oh Allah, I ask for a magnificent name for everyone is given so far. For them, for their family, and lineage your judgment day. After a long, healthy, righteous life, Make their grave a piece of heaven, not a piece of hell. Please say Ameen. Oh Allah, expand it as far as their eyesight can see. Do not collapse the ribs. Say Ameen. Oh Allah, furnish it from Jannah, not the hellfire. Say Ameen. Oh Allah, open a gate in their grave to be able to see their place in Jannah. So they call, Rabbi aqim as a'udu ila ahli wa mali. Oh Allah, establish the hour I want to go back to my family and friends. Say Ameen. One more left. I only have one more slot on this plateau. Who's really hungry for the sake of Allah? Who believes that what Allah said in the Quran is true? And what Prophet Muhammad said in the Sunnah will be fulfilled. There's only one spot left. One shot, monthly basis, or simply sponsor it. Do I have that last hand among the heroes that will come forward? Do I have that last hand? I know you can dig deep. Wallah, you'll find it. 
You know how many times I've done this by the blessing of Allah and wallahi, I, it hasn't failed. Every time I hear stories, this I, story I share with all the time. I know because I know this brother, he's actually from Calgary. I know the Sheikh knows him. He came to me, he gave $500,000 by the way, as a Qard Hassan, and he gave $100,000 as a Sadaqah, and he came to me and says, Wallahi, I don't have the money. He, he is a dealer, don't, but he, at that time he didn't have the money. He's a businessman. But he told me, Ya Sheikh, the same night I went home, I received a voicemail telling me, you know the land that you've been trying to sell for a long time? It just sold for much more than you asked for. But I don't want you to give tonight and go home and look for a voicemail. <laughs> He says, listen, if I don't find that voicemail, man, I know where you live. I, I'm coming to Misaga. You can run, but you can't hide. I'm coming for you. <laughs> don't do it for that reason. But wallahi, it's true. These are true stories. I know the brothers personally. All you have to do is pass the test. It happened to this poor slave of Allah. Wallahi, it was a turning point in my life. Uqsimu billahi al It was a turning point in my life when I actually walked the talk. You know most of us, Mashaykh, you know what? We like to do fundraisers, but we don't like to give. It just... I don't mean all, some. But wallahi, one time, one time I said, you know what, it's time. It's time to walk the talk. Wallahi, ladi la ilaha illahu. It was a turning point in my life. That's all I can tell you. Only one hand is left. Who can help us with one swing of an arm to be raised that will testify for you on judgment day? You will take your book with your right hand side. In the grave you will be protected. The narration says, the angels up, the grave will come in. And it says, this person used to give money. مَا قِبَلِي مِنْ مَدْخَلِ You shall not pass. Could you imagine? Just one last hand. Who has the courage to raise the hand to beat the back of shaitan and believe in Ar-Rahman? The last offer is on the table. Who wants it? You know what, brothers and sisters? Wallahi, I'm, I'm so proud of you. You did good. I'm honored. But I want to break this last 25 into two. Okay? We still want to get the 25. Let's break it into two. That's it. I'm only looking for two brothers or sisters or families or even tables to pool it for 12 and a half thousand each. Do I have the first hand out of the two? Just to close that first 100,000, inshallah. We can do it. Arawa. We can do it. You have three options. One shot, monthly, sponsor. Where is that first hand that has been trying to be raised but it's owned by shaitan? You know the scary part about the ayah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, after a shaitan ya'adukum al-faqr, it says, wa <laughs> You know what that means? After shaitan is going to scare you off, he says, Allah says, and he's going to give you a command. You know what that means? You're going to be listening to shaitan now. Oh, oh. Because you listen to him. Allah says, give, and shaitan says, don't. Which one did you listen to? That's bad news. So if you have it, my brothers and sisters, a choice you have to make, which one? Do you want to be a, sol a soldier of Rahman or a soldier of shaitan? May Allah make you a soldier of Rahman. Two hands for 12 and a half thousand. Who can help us out with the first one? All right, let me help you out. Aisha radiallahu anha wa ummatu mamina ajma'in Who was she with the daughter of? Abu Bakr Sadiq radiallahu anha Do you see a trend here? Dhuriya ba'aduha min ba'ad What happened? You see Abu Bakr Sadiq, how much money did he give? All of his money, you're right And what did Aisha do? When she heard from Muawiyah radiallahu anha After the death of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam She was fasting that day And she had holes in her thob he gave her a hundred thousand dinar. So she said, give me my sisters, meaning the other wives of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah be pleased with all of them. She gave them all the money that she had. So Muawiyah heard, he gave her another hundred thousand. What did she do? She said, give me all the poor in Medina, bring him to me. She gave all the money away, again. And she broke her fast asking the girl that served her, give me something to break my fast. I don't have anything for you. May Allah have mercy upon you, Ummul Mu'mineen. If you left anything for us, we would have been able to break your fast. You understand? 
Aisha radiallahu anha was known for what, my brothers and sisters? She used to be doing what? She used to put the perfume, yes, in the money. But she was asked, why do you put perfume, Aisha? Why do you put perfume in the money? What did she say? Because it goes into the hand of Allah before it goes into the hand of the person who's taken it. He's the one that takes it. He's the one that multiplies it for you. You know how she used to give the money? Did she give the money this way? No. She used to place the money on the table. Why? So the person takes the money, doesn't give the lower hand. The upper hand when he takes it. Look at the etiquettes and matters of Aisha radiallahu anha. My dear sisters, if you want to be resurrected with Aisha radiallahu anha, give 12 and a half thousand. I'm only looking for two, brothers and sisters. Who could be the first one? Who wants to be resurrected with Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anha? Or Aisha radiallahu anha? Nobody. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> we have one? Okay. Leave that first one. Let work, let's work on the second hundred thousand. Maybe we can get ten brothers and sisters for ten thousand. Maybe that will break it up even for you, inshallah. Now before you decide, I just want to remind you. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was known for karrih, he was like the wind, gentle wind. What does that mean? He used to give sadaqah everywhere. Every chance he gets. So this is an opportunity for you. I want you to think that you've been waiting for this fundraiser for what? Two years now? Three years? You've been waiting for a train for three years. Finally, the train is coming and you can watch the train. You're watching the train come. The train stops in the train station and you're still watching the train. The train opens the gates, the doors are open and you're still watching. And as the train's closing the doors, you're still watching. And the train is leaving that station and you're still watching. Cannot be watching, brothers and sisters. Let's be doers, not watchers. Who can help us out with the first 10,000? Raise that hand, don't be afraid, wallahi. Remember, you have three options. Say, Bismillah, break the back of shaitan. Okay. Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma used to love fish. I know you're eating, it's a tough competition. When his wife made some fish for him, a Abir Sabil, a person came to his door, his Abir Sabil, help me, give me. He says, give him the fish. He says, well, I worked very hard, it's very difficult to find fish, there's no water around here, very difficult to give fish for you. He says, Allah says, give what you love, and I love fish, give him the fish. So she gave him the fish. She runs after him, she says, please, can I buy that fish back from you? So she gave him money and bought back the fish. So he goes back. That's a nice game, man. He goes back, knock on the door again. Abir Sabi goes, give him the fish again. He said, I gave him the fish. But he said, Allah says, وَأَنْفِقُوا استمراري جَمَاعِي I'm going. He didn't say, أَنْفِقْ once. So he gave him the fish again. She ran after him once more time. She says, can I buy the fish back from you? So she gave him the money and bought back the fish. Placed it in front of Abdullah ibn Umar. The man comes back. Third time, Abir Sabid, wayfarer, help me. She says, give him the fish. Well, I give him the fish. Give him the fish again. For the third time, she runs after him. She says, astahlifuka billah alla ta'ud. <laughs> Here's the money, man. <laughs> Let my husband enjoy the fish. So, who can be the first one? Brothers and sisters for 10,000. One shot or over the year or simply sponsor it. Knock on the doors of your family and friends. Get that. Be a miftah al khayr. Ongoing. If you aid others to do good, you will get the same good. Let's start with one hand. Who can help us out? Just one hand, brothers and sisters. For 10,000. Who can be the first one? Okay, no problems. I understand. But we still have a job to do. This is my final offer. I'm going to look for at least 10 for 5,000 now. You should be able to do this. This 10 checks of $500. Or simply one shot or sponsor it. Who could be the first one for 500 for 5000? Who could be the first one for 5000? 
I have one. Allahu Akbar, a young man. Masha Allah, Tabarakallah. Good for you, man. What's your name? Nawaf. How old are you, brother Nawaf? 13 years old. Are you married? You're not married? Sisters, young guy right here, rich and good looking too. We're going to auction him off. It's 100% halal meat, inshallah. Okay, I, I implore every parent to do the same as these beautiful guardians next to them. Mom and dad, thank you so much. It's a fantastic way to teach your children. I have the second one, mashallah. What's your name, Ukhti? Hey? Sundus, what a beautiful name. And how old are you, Sister Sundus? 15. How do you feel about older women? Yani, he's 13, she's 15. We can do halal, yani. Yeah, nice try, man. <clears throat> Thanks for playing. All right, so to Sundus, may Allah bless you. Let's make that, okay, let's keep it up. Let's at least do five. Make, I'm sorry, make that a 10. Thank you, my dear sister Sundus. May Allah bless up with the Nawaf. Who can join this beautiful team now? Who wants it in on this? Teach your children. Let your children raise their hands. That's how that you can do this. Allahu Akbar. Okay, I have one of the two that I, by the blessing of Allah. 12 and a half thousand. Allahu Akbar. There is good, I'm telling you, there is good in the ummah. Wallahi, don't deprive yourself of that honor. Again, it's anonymous. So let's make dua for that brother before I make dua for the five, inshallah. Oh Allah, by your magnificent name. For that brother or that sister, for 12 and a half, and everyone that is given, the three, for 25, and everyone that is given five so far, for them, for their family, and lineage, your judgment day. Oh Allah. On that day, what is 50,000 years, O oh Allah, make their feet firm upon the path and let them pass before falling. Say Ameen. O oh Allah, grant him their book with the right hand side, not the left hand side. Please say Ameen. Resurrect him on pulpits of light with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Say Ameen. And allow him to intercede for him, for them. Say Ameen. MashaAllah. Okay, let's keep the drive alive. Who can give me another five? 5,000, one shot. All year. Allahu Akbar. I have the second wallahi. That's amazing. Arawa, I love you guys. MashaAllah. The second one. Oh, 10,000. MashaAllah. May Allah bless him. Do I? What's the name? I can't see. What's the name? Do you want to say the name? Anonymous? Okay, la hawla. Okay, this brother is. I'd like to meet this brother anonymous or sister anonymous. They are very, very, mashaAllah, generous, Yani. <laughs> May Allah bless that, and I'm going to include him in the next my prayer, inshallah, in the dua. Who can help us out? But the ten is here. At least we come back, alhamdulillah. Don't let me stop you, brothers and sisters. Let your fingers do the walking. I can be talking all night, doesn't matter. As you're eating, you can let your fingers do the walking. You don't want to raise your hand? Just write down a pledge or a check and bring it forward. We'll still make dua for you. You'll get the same reward. Anybody else? You want to go back to the ten? By all means. It's, it's how much you want. Wallahi. It's how much you want in investing. That's all there is to it. It's really that simple. I have another five. Allahu Akbar. Any name? Okay, Arab Muslim Association. MashaAllah. That's the brothers helping each other out. May Allah bless them, inshaAllah. All right, who can help us out with another 5,000? Allahu Akbar. What's your name, my brother? Junaid? No, not, I know it's okay, but you said your name. I'm sorry. Sharif. Allah. Sharafan wa izza akhi kareem. Brother Sharif is given 5,000. Barakallah feek. I'll make a dua in the end of this round, inshallah. Anybody else want to join? Sister Sundus and Brother Nawaf and Brother Sharif and the Muslim community. I have another one? Allahu Akbar. There's another five. What's the name? No name. Okay. We're almost there, brothers. Let's, let's get this thing going. The heat is on. Even though it's cold, how do you get the heat on? I, your heat bill must be like skyrocketed in Ottawa. May Allah help you, Allah. Once I went to Fort McMurray, I have no idea why people live there to start off with. <laughs> what? I got off the plane and I was smiling, it's just froze. You know, I was smiling for the rest of the today. I'm not, I, I, it's not. <laughs> All right. May Allah bless him. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Who can, who can give us another 5,000? Brothers, I feel it. I feel it's coming. You know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said? You heard the man reciting it. He says, those who give for the sake of Allah and conscious of Allah, what happened? Allah will make it easy for you. Who has difficulties that wants to make it easy? How much would you pay to be 
Shaded on judgment day where there's no shade except Allah's shade. 50,000 years the sun will come close to your head. People will be drenched in the sweat. And guess what comes in you, in your aid to help you? The hadith says, your sadaqah will come and shade you on judgment day. Do you believe it? Allahu Akbar. So brothers and sisters, invest in your future, eternal bank. Do I have another hand to be raised for 5,000? Who's not afraid of shaitan? Take him on. I'm a soldier of a Rahman. Let's go to these children to raise this hand. Teach him how to give, brothers and sisters. Lead by example. Get them to give. You will get the reward for that too. Anybody else, brothers and sisters? Okay, one more, just last one. One more, brother or sister for 5,000. Who could be the lucky winner? The last hand for 5,000 we're asking for. If you have it, please don't deprive yourself from it. Wallahi. You will see the reward. By the way, the scholars will tell you there's two types of uh, money. It's called rizq al-jalb or rizq al-salb. You know your provision is either given or not taken away. Both are good. That means you get money as you work, whatever it is, and you may not lose money or Allah will put barakah. For example, you want to buy a house for 100,000? Allah will give it to you for 300,000. You will protect your children. They could have poke an eye. You could have lost a car. You could have lost something. Allah will protect you with that intention. So with that intention, raise your hand. Last one, inshallah. $5,000. Who could be the last one on this road? Don't be afraid. Raise that hand. Is it going to be a brother or a sister? Allahu Akbar. I have him. I have him. May Allah bless you, Shaykh. What's your name? Abdu. Barakallah feek, brother Abdu. Okay. May Allah bless you, Shaykh. All right. Let me make dua for the brothers that are given. Five, ten, twelve and a half, and twenty-five. And everybody's given so far. Oh Allah. I ask for a magnificent name for everyone is given so far. O oh Allah, for them, for their family and lineage till judgment day. O oh Allah, give them the best in this life and the best in the hereafter and protect them from hellfire. Say Ameen. Protect their health, wealth, family, children, lineage till judgment day from the fitting in this life and the hereafter. Please say Ameen. O oh Allah, make him from the leaders of muttaqeen. Say Ameen. Make him miftah lil khayr miqlaq lil shar. Those who open the keys of goodness and close the gates of evil. Say Ameen. All right, I'm going to look for another 10. Two and a half thousand. That should be easy. 10 checks of 250 bucks. We can do this. Brothers and sisters, either you have it, you can have it one shot or over the year or simply sponsor again. You have three options. Who can help us out with two and a half thousand for the whole year? Who could be the first hand? Allahu Akbar, Zakallah Khair Ya Shaykh. What's your name, my brother? Ahmed. Hasharak Allahumma Ahmed. Alayhi salam. Brother Ahmed is the first one. May Allah bless you, Shaykh. Who could be Brother Ahmed wants company to go to Jannah with? Who could be with Brother Ahmed? Allahu Akbar. I have it. May Allah bless you, Shaykh. What's the name? Sulaiman. He walks the talk, puts the shoulder to the wheel. Brother Hussein. Allah is zikil khair, Brother Hussein, one of our own, one of the board members. May Allah bless him, inshallah. Not just volunteering their time and effort, he's also volunteering the month and his money that's hard earned. May Allah bless him, inshallah. That's two. Let's bring it up to ten, brothers and sisters. We can do this. Who could be number three? Two and a half thousand. Ten checks, 250 bucks. You will not feel it, inshallah. It's easy. Or you can get people to help you if you don't have it. Just at least try. That's all we're asking you. Just do your best, brothers and sisters. You know the scholars say, You can't have even niyyah to do something good. Even if you don't get it, Allah will give you that. Allahu Akbar, I don't know what to tell you. The hadith says, even if you ask to be a martyr, if you die in your bed with that intention, you will get it. So at least have an intention to do good, anything. Try to help with whatever you can, even though you don't have it. But Ya Allah, I have time, I have connections, I have social media, I can do something, I may not have the money. But I have something else that I can do for you, O oh Allah. All right, who else can help us out with two and a half thousand? Allahu Akbar, I have the youngest contestant. I think we have a winner. And what's, what's your name and how old are you, honey? Sa'ad, how old? Brother Sa'ad is how old? Three years old. Hey, can, you can't beat that, eh? Dude, you were so close. 13, he's three. All right, Brother Sa'ad, Allah. Brother Sa'ad is three years old. 
May Allah bless you, Sheikh. I'm so proud of you and your parents. All right, who can help us out? Who could be number four? Well, let's just bring him up to five, at least. At least number to five. We're just looking for two more now. Two more for two and a half thousand. That's it, we're good. We can do it. Arawa, we can do this thing. We're just looking for two more brothers and sisters for two and a half thousand. Who could be the first one out of the two? Raise that hand, don't be quiet. Wallahi, listen, when you eat with that hand, I want you to think that you're eating from Jannah. But I have to pay the dues. It's like a bridal gift. I want to be... No, no, don't go there. <laughs> you see, my wife is here. I speak freely. That's okay. I, I can afford to do it. <laughs> but you, brothers, are going to be in trouble after I say that. Thing. I'm not going to say it, so we'll just move on. <laughs> All right, two more hands now for two and a half thousand. Who wants them? You may have somebody that wants them. You know what? I'll take them both. Just move on, man. Samana, salam alaikum, alaikum, alaikum. We want to eat, dude. Come on, dude. Just get it over with. But we're so close. Look at that. We're so close. The sky is the limit. I don't know how close that is. It's like a million. How far are we going? <laughs> there is no ceiling, apparently. <laughs> because Ottawa, you rock. You have no ceilings here. There is no limits to the power of the Ottawa community and the Embraer School. That's what it is. You got it. So how about one more? Just one more. The last one for two and a half thousand dollars. Twenty-five hundred dollars. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Just give me one. one, 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 one it's the brother or sister. Give me one, give me what? At least this is worth something. Yani. <laughs> okay, get me out of my misery at least. One hand, one hand, brothers. One hand for 2,500. Allahu Akbar, we have it. MashaAllah, what's the name? Abdullah. Allah ikrimah. Khairul Asma. Abdullah Abdul Rahman. May Allah bless you, brother Abdullah. Very good. So now let's make dua for everyone that is given so far. Oh Allah, I ask my magnificent name for everyone that is given so far. Oh Allah, give him the best of your choice in this life and hereafter. Say Ameen. Protect the children, make them latest muttaqeen. Say Ameen. Baraka fika wa ahli kamalik. May Allah bless you, health and wealth. Say Ameen. And grant you much more than you're given. Say Ameen. Here you go, brothers and sisters. This, this it should be like turning like a 4th of July. Everybody should be afford, able to afford 100 bucks or less a month. So at least I'm looking for 10. $1,000. That's it. $1,000. 10 checks of 10. Allah is equal. May Allah bless you. What's your name, Habibi? Okay, no problems. I have one. Who could be number two? 1,000. I have, I have it. I have this girl. Oh. Listen, Habibi, I have another one. Oh. Is this for real or is this the same? The same. Same. Twins, ah, mashallah, what a beautiful, may Allah, barakallahu lakum fiya, inshallah. And batham Allah, and batham hasana. What's the name of the twins? Qamar and Noor, Noor al-Asadi, Allahu Akbar, what a beautiful names. So, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, make you always being good together like this. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. All right, who could also give another, another oh, I was going to say 100,000. 1,000, don't get a heart attack, relax, we're good. One, one thousand. Who can get one? One thousand brothers and sisters. All right. Tell me if you can't afford a hundred dollars a month, I will help you. <laughs> Abroad, don't you have something? You have it? I have something. Okay. We have five thousand. Booyah! In your face. Listen, you're asking for one thousand? That's posh. He's the most generous of all. He keeps giving. May Allah bless this brother. Do I mention his name? What's the name? It's a na I can't see. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's in red. It's Brother Muhammad. Brother Muhammad what? It's two Raise your hand if your name is Muhammad. The half of the Ummah's name is Muhammad. <laughs> okay, is that him? No, it's not him, but don't do it. I know him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abu Karim. Abu Qasim. Brother Muhammad Abu Qasim. I love you, man. May Allah bless him. May Allah bless him. He's the most generous I hear. MashaAllah, he helps all the time. Okay, very good. Anybody else? For 1,000. Listen, uh, listen when, I, when I ask for something, you give me back up. I love it. Fantastic. Challenge me. Go ahead. I'm asking for another 1,000. Who can help us out? We're at, we're at least leaving for, for 10, right? I think we got about four so far. I could be wrong. I have one. May Allah bless you, Ukhti. What's your name? No, no problems. MashaAllah. The youth is coming alive. I'm telling you, because they know how important it is. And you know what happens, the peer pressure outside. I have another one, mashallah, that's six now. There's four fingers left. Four fingers left, who can take him down? 
They're gonna go fast, brothers and sisters. Wallahi, the door is opening, door is closing, and the train is leaving. One thousand dollars. There's four spots left. Who's hungry? Who wants that one thousand dollars? At least I can do something before I go. It's less than hundred dollars a month. I have the six sister, mashallah. The, this table eight is fantastic. May Allah bless you. What's your name, Mukti? We're good. May Allah bless you. Thank you. Allah knows who we are. Just like that, there are three fingers down. Last three fingers for one thousand dollars. I know we can afford it, but it's just a struggle that you have to convince yourself that it is a plus, not a minus. It's an investment, not an expense. It is something that I'm doing for the sake of Allah. It cannot go wrong. Who could be the one, the first one out of the three? $1,000 now. Just last three of the $1,000 plateau. Okay. If we're stuck, we're stuck. But is it really? No, because I feel something is coming. I feel, <laughs> I feel good. Something is happening. If you dig deep down in your heart, you'll find it. Do you feel it too? Do you feel there's another thousand coming? Yes, yes, and he's right, he's right. Here, I have another thousand right here. May Allah bless you, what's the name? Okay. Another one? Which one? I know another one. Allahu Akbar. See that? Just one more now. Okay, what's the names? No names. Okay, no problems. Okay, the last 1,000. I told you it's gonna go. You just have to believe. The last finger is up. And the last finger is gonna go down. He's right. I got the last one. What's the name? No problems. Very good. So let me make dua for everyone that is given so far. For 1,000 to have and up to us, inshallah. Oh Allah, I ask for a magnificent name. After a long, healthy, righteous life. For everyone that is given so far, for their family and lineage. Oh Allah, resurrect them on pulpits of light. With Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Say ameen. Allow him to intercede for him. Say ameen. Grant him the company of Rasulullah sallallahu Say ameen. Grant him the book with the right, not the left. Say ameen. MashaAllah. Last advice. Last favor I'm going to ask for you, brothers and sisters. That's it. The last thing I'm going to ask for is a game. Are you ready? Just a game. I know you've seen it and I know you know what I'm going to do. If you believe in Allah, subhanahu wa jalla bi'ula, and follow His Quran, and you want to go to Jannah, raise your right hand. So some of you don't believe in Allah or the Quran. Not, not even, not interested to go to heaven. Okay, hold that hand up, hold that hand. Simple, if you believe in Allah, follow his Quran, and you want to go to Jannah, raise your right hand. Simple, very good. Now if you believe in Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and follow his sunnah, and you want to meet him in Jannah, and stay away from the fire, raise your left hand. Keep your hands up now. For every hand you raised is $250. That means $500 each. That's less than 50 bucks a month. Jazakumullah khairan arawami. Allah bless you. Barakafikum wa ahlukum alukum. Jazakumullah khairan wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Enjoy this.